So today we're here uh, rebuilding the stoker trough. We've had a new trough made for us and we're actually going to rivet it back to the old original casting. So uh, today what we have, uh, we have some 5H rivets. Our holes have all been drilled, countersunk, and reamed uh, to the correct size and we've bolted everything together tight so that as we take a bolt out, we can drive a rivet in this place. And what we use to heat the rivets up is we have a forge uh, that we use, a rivet forge. And we'll heat the rivets up uh, and then get the rivets out of the forge uh, very carefully and put them in place. And we'll have an air ram that bucks the one side of the rivet and an air hammer that we'll use to drive the head. Here's what the rivet gun looks like that we use. And as you can see, it has a dished head to form the head of the rivet once it's through. Once the rivet pushed through the hole, that head is driven on it when the rivet is red hot. When it cools, the rivet actually shrinks down tight and pulls it in tighter. The advantage of using a rivet is that a bolt may work loose and a rivet swells up into the hole itself and does not allow any crud or anything like that that could potentially get in there and start uh, deteriorating the bolt. Uh, once we completely rivet both ends, we'll actually put a stainless steel liner in it as well. You have an auger screw that will run in the bottom of this trough, and the trough where it lives is actually underneath the coal space in the tender. So the, the coal actually is sitting on top of it, gravity fed, and fills up into the trough. That auger screw, as it turns, it actually pulls coal up through what we call the telescoping tube up the elevator tube and then that's where the steam jets blow it out into the firebox. So today we're here at the 576 and we're removing the pilot from the front of the locomotive so that we can gain access to the engine truck. The engine truck is important because it holds 77,000 pounds of weight in the front end of the locomotive and it also helps guide the locomotive through curves. Uh, this particular engine truck has 36 inch wheels and has Timken roller bearings. The reason that we're doing that is so that we can pull the engine truck out, we can inspect it, we can take it, tear it all apart, we can inspect the bearings, turn the wheels, make sure it's all back in tram, renew spring rigging, anything we need to do to rebuild that, as well as uh, so that we can remove the driving wheels. After the engine truck is rebuilt, which we'll do the same thing to the trailing truck, which is on the back side of the locomotive under the cab and firebox. We'll also remove the driving wheels, hopefully by the first of next year, completely refurbish those, and that will be something to see.